Neighbors, do I have any messages? Please think, this is very important. Um, oh yeah, here's one. It's from Mavis. Yeah. It says, get your ass back to work. <laughs> Look, I'm expecting a call from great satisfaction. Oh, that's the expensive dating service where losers meet other losers so they can get together and lose. Actually, I have great faith in this service. In fact, I already have a date. No. Really? What's she like? Is she nice? Is she hot? Is she sweet? Is she put out? Did you meet her at the mall? Where? <laughs> so tell me, for your date, will you part your chest hair to the left or the right? In fact, I'm wearing my black turtleneck to show off my delts. You gulag warming hut. Your mommy loves eye candy. Baby likes to show. I think it's sweet that Nassim's got a girl. He's been holding it in for a long time. Once this Franciscan monk came into the hospital and girl, he was backed up like an on-ramp. Hello, hello, hello. I don't need to know this. The monks ain't coming after me. Shut up. Sweetie, I got you something for tonight's campaign meeting. I hope you like it. Oh, Mavis, my baby bought me something. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. You bought that at a woman's store, right? It's a power suit. I thought it would help you fit in at the meeting. You didn't think I'd fit in? I didn't say that. No, yes, you did, Courtney. You said fit in. I heard you. You said fit in. I mean, can you tell us why you don't think she would fit in? Mavis, you're not helping. Not trying. Who? Why don't you think I'd fit in? Well, it's just that it's a very conservative group. Oh, yeah. They're not as wild and wacky like Courtney is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? If you feel like I might embarrass you, then maybe I shouldn't go. Yeah, because you know she's going to look ridiculous in that outfit. Oh, no, May Ray. Now, you see, that's where you're wrong. I can make any outfit pop. And you know, if you want to go out with Condoleezza Rice, you should have just called her. Because you know she ain't doing nothing tonight. It's Saturday night. Where the hell she going to go? Mavis, hmm? this is Olenka, my very own date. You're so cute when you're aroused. <laughs> nice to meet you. Isn't she gorgeous? I mean, such silky skin. Oh, my skin is well preserved from the icy winters in Gardenia. Shalupa, could you step over here a minute? I'd like you to meet uh, Nassim's new girlfriend, Oompa Loompa. It's Olenka. Whatever. <laughs> Gardenia? Gdansk. You know each other? No. My part of the country had indoor plumbing. <laughs> and here you are, still cleaning it. <laughs> OK, ladies, ladies, come on now. You're both pretty-ish. <laughs> Nassim, Mavis, excuse me. Your powder room is this way, yes? yes? <laughs> By the way, lovely shoes, dear. I have the same ones in leather. <laughs> I don't know what she told you, but she's 60 if she's a day. Uh, <laughs> the same. Mm -hmm. Does Oopa Loopa remind you of anybody? <laughs> you see it too? Yes. I can't believe she's like a young Greta Van Susten. <laughs> no, no, Nassim. Jadwiga. Jad who? Jadwiga. Jadwiga. That don't be ridiculous. They couldn't be more different. They're, they're like night and day, like, like apples and oranges. Like, like Mary Kate and Ashley? Exactly. <laughs> Let's go. Did you notice I pinched my cheeks? I've been meaning to fix that toilet seat. <laughs> oh, baby makes mommy laugh. Uh, <laughs> Baby's got two mommies. <laughs> President Bush can win here by emphasizing economic recovery and addressing the war on terror in a fashion Carla, that... Carla, y'all! What's good? Rita, 
What did you do to your outfit? You like it? Uh, Courtney bought me this suit for the meeting. Um, I, I was picturing it with a blouse. <laughs> Why? Dan! What's up? Everyone, this is Stan Cordes. He hired my boo for the campaign. Rita, everyone knows that Stan is the man. <laughs> Darling, why don't you sit? Okay. Or better yet, just lean at the bar. <laughs> so, what was y'all talking about? We're discussing ideas on how President Bush can reach out to young voters. He needs to stop fronting. Just tell the truth. Rita, it's, it's a little more complicated than that. Oh, no diggity, no doubt, boo. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, if you make a mistake, cop to it. If I started a war thinking I'd find chemical weapons and I didn't, that's all right. I just tell them that's my bad. You know, I like that. Stan, everyone makes mistakes. You know, my girl Jolene, she lost her boyfriend's baby at Coney Island. She didn't pretend like it didn't happen. She admitted that she got distracted by the spin art booth and she took her eye off the kid. So it's like people don't like politics. They're all like, you did this. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> Shut up and win. Rita, you have a native intelligence that's missing in this campaign. Thank you, Stan. The party could use a few more people like you. Except I'm not a Republican. I'm an independent. That's even better. Rita, we got poker tonight. You want to... <laughs> Hello, Stan. Mavis? I thought I told you never to darken my doorstep again. I just spent $300 at your bar. Stanley! What's up, dog? Nice to see you again. Courtney, there's this amazing article I wanted to... Shh! What you talking about, shh? I'm not in here to spy. That's y'all's gig. I'm not even listening to y'all. Go ahead. Anyway, the article rightfully blames the current fiscal difficulties on the Clinton administration. Oh, please, will you let the Clintons go to out of off? Leave them alone. I swear to God, it's like y'all are jilted lovers. The Clintons are gone. And y'all are the ones who blame everything on everybody else. Oh, yeah. W, he's got the terrorists. Reagan, he had the communists. And Nixon, my favorite, he blamed black people in the inner city. He was talking about me. Come oh, hey, now. No, I know, I'll get it, stop. Please, I've got it, I've got it. You gotta get it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Stan. Thank you. What were we talking about? The deficit. Uh, no, no, Courtney. We were talking about my native intelligence. <laughs> Courtney, you know those focus groups we're having in Miami tomorrow? Yes, I wish I could go. Let's send Rita to Miami. Me? You talk the talk. You can connect with young voters. I, I know this is last minute, but I'm leaving tonight. My Gulfstream 4 is waiting at Westchester Airport. Rita, that's a plane we saw on The Apprentice. <gasps> <laughs> so you'll come? Well, I just wish my boo-boo could come with me. Yeah, nobody can, so. <laughs> Rita, this is a tremendous opportunity. You could do exceedingly well. Do you know what I'm seeing right here? I'm seeing the new power couple. Oh, Cupcake. <laughs> I'm so proud of us. <laughs> You haven't touched your sausage plate. You're not having a good time? Oh, quite the contrary. <laughs> me too. Nassim. Yes? Forgive me if I am too forward, but for a man of excessive girth with an ever-present hint of old underclothes, you're very beautiful. Thank you, Rebecca. And for a woman 20 years too old for a peekaboo blouse, you two are quite handsome. This is good. I'm wondering, yeah. is it too early in our relationship to try some French kissing? Well, if it is, 
I don't care. That was nice. Ah! Is something wrong? Hey, I have to go. Oh, May Ray, I I'm sorry. I ain't gonna be able to play poker tonight. My time has been newly committed. What are you talking about? What could be more important than me taking your money? 